Alright, so in this tutorial we're going to go over the newly developed capabilities um, for the Blender Blend Me plugin for, um, for architectural modeling and we're going to go over the uh, Radiance uh, export capabilities. Uh, so I'm going to set up the uh, tutorial one case that we finished up with last time and I'm just going to go to File, User Preferences, Add-ons, Architecture and start up the plugin like always. Um, what you'll notice now is that I've got an extra menu option over here, Radiance. So from tutorial one we attached the uh, camera to that sun so we don't really want to do that anymore. What I'd like to do now is actually um, move that camera around and put it inside of the space and get lux levels, a uh, false color uh, render of the lux levels inside the space. So I'm just going to um, actually view from the camera. Now I remember from tutorial one we made it orthographic so I'll turn it back to perspective mode. Um, the defaults should be pretty good for now and I'll just fly down into the space. Um, if I'm careful. There we go. Okay, now the, again it's a little bit jumpy because my computer's very old. But let's just get over here in the corner so we get a nice perspective view of the space. Um, maybe about there will be good. Okay. Now, don't need to do anything to the sun. Um, inside of the uh, the Radiance um, plug features we have um, we can define the sky type, cloudy sky, sunny sky with sun or without sun, all the radiance features um, and I might want to change this my image to 360 so it renders faster and um, everything else should be fine as a default. Uh, now I remember from tutorial one we, we didn't really sign any serious materials or anything so we'll go back to this uh, window here and if I bring it up hit bring up the blender blend me now all the radiance capabilities are kind of tied in with also the energy modeling capabilities so um, information entered is used in one another so uh, you need to enter that that the window is actually a glazing type um, we should be able to leave the colors as they are blah blah, blah that should all be, all be fine now this uh, the rest of the um, space um, is defined with this place the thing just called material is called material um, and we should be able to leave that mostly as it is. Um, the diffuse color is uh, 0.8 RGB, all of them 0.8. So I'll just uh, select all those things and I'll save this as test case 4, as you can see I've done before, just in case. Uh, I don't know where that actually saved then, anyway. Okay. Um, and what I do is I go to Scene, Radiance, and now I should be able to actually just write my Radiance files. There you go. Um, and now if I actually go to the menu, I have a new menu option for execu Execute Radiance. And you can see now that what that's doing is it's crunching away up the top here um, using all my processing. Half my, half my processor is used for screen recording and the other half is being used for rendering. Um, while that's cooking, it'll take a little while because I've got a very old computer. Um, I'll just show you, I've gone a bit further from the SunPath tutorial, tutorial one, and just added the ability to actually link the sun up to the time of day. So you can see as I move through the time of day, the sun path moves. So that's finished uh, rendering now, and you can see here. I have a false color image of the lux levels inside of that space, which can be useful for doing daylight analysis and um, ensuring that spaces get an uh, adequate amount of daylight. So that's the uh, Radiance plugin for Blender. Thanks very much for listening.